which were designed by Jack Nicholas on a pro bono basis. The whole shall be designated as the Nicholas Nine. Pursuant to House Resolution 736, the gentleman from Washington, a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Washington. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I actually plan on withdrawing my amendment. We would like to make my colleagues aware of some amazing work being done in my district on behalf of veterans and wounded warriors. Mr. Speaker, millions, millions of people watched the U.S. Open at Chambers Bay in Washington's 10th Congressional District last June. It, it showcased the frankly irreplaceable beauty of golf in the Pacific Northwest. But just a 10-minute drive from Chambers Bay, you will also find yourself at beautiful American Lake. And at American Lake, that is where veterans recover and heal from injuries at the VA facility, which is located near Joint Base lewis McCord. And a big part of that recuperation includes a bit of TLC from another golf course in addition to Chambers Bay. Since 1955, 61 years, nine holes of golf at the American Lake Golf Course is where South Sound veterans could escape the stresses of their daily lives and engage in some healthy competition. And let's be honest, it's hard to look forward to a visit to the doctor, but looking forward to a round of golf with your buddies is something entirely different. It's become a great way for older vets to connect with younger vets from more recent conflicts. Currently, American Lake Veterans Golf Course, it's important that you hear this, is the nation's only golf course designed specifically for the rehabilitation of wounded and disabled veterans. Almost all of the dedicated volunteers there are veterans as well. Well, except one, and his name is Jack Nicholas. Yes, that Jack Nicholas, the Golden Bear, widely regarded perhaps as the greatest golfer of our time, who now spends his time actually designing golf courses, and he is the one who helped design and expand the American Lake Golf Course to include a back nine. They went from nine holes to 18. The back nine's now in place, and the course is waiting for VA Secretary McDonald to sign the necessary paperwork to formally accept the course improvements. The course exists because of the determination of hardworking volunteers, really angels among us. And now it's time to honor one of those committed volunteers for his commitment to our veterans and wounded warriors and officially designate holes 10 through 18 as the Nicholas Nine. With the Nicholas Nine, we will now have an 18 hole, 100% ADA accessible golf course to accommodate returning troops and our local combat veterans. With the Nicholas Nine, we will have double the accessibility and green to offer our veterans who have given so much to all. Now I'm gonna tell you a story, and I guarantee it's gonna stay with you. I guarantee that you're gonna remember this story. There is a program at American Life Golf Course that teaches blind veterans how to play golf. Blind veterans how to play golf. And one year, we had a local golfer, his name happens to be Ray Reed, who was sent to the National Blind Golf Tournament in Iowa. Ray Reed, blind, wounded warrior. And you know what he did at that National Golf Tournament? He scored a hole in one. Yes, blind veterans can golf, and they learn how to do that at American Lake. It's incredible, and they're an inspiration to all of us. Mr. Speaker, to avoid a point of order on my amendment. I would like to withdraw it at this time, but I hope that I can work with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to find another vehicle or a standalone bill to get this done. I strongly believe it to be appropriate to honor and bestow on he who has changed the name of golf, the Golden Bear, this honor for changing the lives of wounded warriors. And I hope this will encourage the design and development of more golf courses around the U.S. devoted to our veterans and our wounded warriors. With that, Mr. Speaker, I thank my colleagues and I yield back my time. The gentleman yields back. Without objection, the amendment is withdrawn. For what purpose does the gentleman from New York seek recognition?